I grew up in Salt Lake City, Utah. I took a degree from the University of Utah, uh, managed some stores for Safeway, and then ended up going to work for General Foods Corporation. Virtus is a pretty impressive guy. If you really get to understand his background, um, he is the top of the top in terms of CEO material for, for, for America. He has rubbed shoulders and has been uh, mentors of some of the best CEOs in America. I was asked to sit on the board of a small company that had been working on a technology for about 15 years. Numerous patents, a lot of research, and they were actually producing a product using salt and water. And when they told me that, uh, they wanted me to go on their board. I said, well, you're going to have to convince me that this is real. How can you produce something from salt and water? And they said, we have a lot of research, extensive research, 10 or $15 million worth of research. He let me know that he was on the board of directors and there was this opportunity that was coming up on a product that he thought was wonderful. But I told him, I said, you know, they have something here that they don't, they don't know what it is. And it's a lot more than they think, but they haven't figured it out. And I said, I am going to put a group of investors together and I'm going to take a run at the company. And over the course of a year, we discovered what the product was and why it worked. We developed what's called the mechanism of action. They discovered the product was based on redox biochemistry. Redox signaling is a function central to all forms of life. Redox signaling molecules are created within every cell of the body and are vital to the immune system and to cellular repair and replace mechanisms. The product provided a replenishing source of the exact redox signaling molecules the body creates and in the same balance, enhancing cellular health. We had contacted a, a friend and he was running a very big pharmaceutical company in New Jersey, about 10, 11 billion dollars. And he agreed to send a group of people out and spend some time with us and see what we had come up with. So four people flew out on a plane. We spit out all of the research that we had out on the table. And these gentlemen ask all the right questions. They thoroughly went through all of the science that we had. And as they do that, they'd call back to their headquarters and ask questions. About 2 o'clock in the afternoon, they came to us. And they said, we think you've got something really special here. We're going to write you a check that is large enough that you don't want to talk to anyone else. But there's a catch. And I said, what's the catch? And they said, you've got to shut it down. And I said, shut what down? And they said, you've got 135 people on this product right now. Shut it down. People uh, have problems all the time, and they deal with them as best they can. You're going to have to walk away. And that kind of took us back a little bit. In fact, I said, I, that seems a little harsh to me. And they said, you want to work with us, you walk away. We said, well, we'll let you know. So we ushered them out of the building. We wanted to make a mark. We found something that was much bigger than either Virtus or myself. We feel a real strong obligation that our task is to make this available the best we can worldwide to help people. My wife questions why I'm doing this. She said, you've retired more than once and it's time for you to join me and let's enjoy the golden years, if you will. But recently, a young lady came up and she broke down and started sobbing. And she had a health challenge in her family that was really severe. And uh, she was introduced to ASEA. And because of what ASEA did, uh, she was just grateful. So I find it hard to talk about, but that's a reason.